How to make a composition notebook cover. This is what we will find out in this video. Hi, it's Rani here from Rani Creative. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, or welcome back if you've been before. In today's video, I will show you how you can create a composition notebook cover yourself. So let's waste no more time. I just jump into my computer and I will show you step by step how to do that. So step one, you want to go to Google and write in KDP cover calculator. And once you found that, you want to click on that and uh, going there. And once you're on the side, you want to put the enter your book information. So let's start it. Binding type is uh, paperback. The interior type is black and white. The paper type is white paper. The page turn direction is left to right. The measurement unit is inches. The interior trim size is, I choose now 8.5 uh, eight times 11 because of the composition notebook. And uh, we have the page count, I usually do 120 pages, and calculate dimensions, click on there, and download template. So once you download it, this is step 3, you want to go to your downloads, and uh, you want to go to this file, it will be a zip file, and uh, you want to extract file with extract files or extract here, it's up to you. And after that, it will look like this. So you, before you do anything, you want to pay attention on these sizes, overall dimensions, 17.520 times 11.250. So you want to go to Canva now, canva.com, and you want to click create a design and you want to go to custom size and you want to make sure this is in inches so now you want to put 17.250 and uh, we just double check the other one so actually it was 520 and uh, times 11.250 so we want to change it so it's 520 and 11.250. Just double check, I believe is the correct number. Yes, it's correct. Okay, and you want to make sure this is in inches. So create new design. And once you created the design, you want to upload uh, this this picture to Canva as well. So once you are in Canva, step five, you want to go to uploads and uh, you want to go back to your uh, file wherever you uh, downloaded uh, the, your uh, paperback template. So you want to uh, click on that and you want to upload uh, to Canva. So once it is, uh, is there for you, then uh, you want to click on that one and uh, once you want to do so actually just make it bigger so you can see a little bit better so what you would like to do you want to just make sure it's on on the line so you want to do like this okay it's done so once you have your cover template uh, ready on Canva, then you want to go to creative fabric, creativefabrica.com or you can uh, use Canva as well for this, it's up to you, just make sure it's actually uh, once you use anything in Canva, it's not with a, a pro uh, sign unless you have a pro uh, prescription, but just make sure you have uh, your, uh, your right uh, to use uh, anything on Canva or anywhere else actually. So uh, I just looked for a reindeer digital pa uh, paper and uh, as you can see I had uh, quite a few uh, options and uh, actually uh, once you choose which one you like, then you want to click on that. So I uh, chosen uh, this one 
and uh, once you have you want to make sure you can uh, you want to double check commercial and full pod usage uh, allowed so uh, once uh, you you choose on you just click on download and uh, once you download it you want to uh, go to back to canva again and uh, you want to go to uploads you want to click on upload files and uh, you just uh, want to upload uh, your pictures as you can see is already here so once you have your picture your next step you want to click on there and uh, what you would like to do actually before you do anything else the best thing you want to do you want to duplicate the page so actually you can keep this one for yourself for the next time and you can work with this one the second one so this is the easiest so now you can do the picture click on the picture and you have two options two options it's up to you so you can do the way like one second i put like this so you can do the way like a little bit like bigger make bigger and you want to put like in the middle like this you can do this one or i gonna show you the second one so like this you put the picture like here in the corner and you put like this and like this okay and you want to click on duplicate so now you do like that and um, actually click on flip flip horizontal and it looks like this so your next step is go to the elements and use this shape like a square shape and we're gonna do the spine so how you want to do the spine you want to go to the top and you want to go to the down so your next step with your spine you want to do as a transparent so you go here and change the transparency like that and also you want to change the transparency of the other covers too like this and here as well like this so now we can see better actually i will do this one a little bit more okay so what we want to do now we want to make sure we just uh, put the spine the right positions as well so might i do a little bit like more it's up to you if you want a bit uh, thicker just uh, uh, stay on the safe side or you want to do like this i like to do like this and uh, what we also want to do so now we can go back to the transparency take back the transparency for now like that and on all of the covers too and i will show you why like this and like this okay so once you have your spine your next step you want to change the color so you want to make sure the color of the spine is sweet uh, to your cover colors so you click on the color and if you scroll down then actually you can see the colors of the pictures so what you want to do you just check out which one suits best so because uh, i i saw other color which can be a good suit for this then uh, what you want to do if you go here and just click on duplicate page then actually you want to go here and you want to check on the other color 
So for example, this one, you can duplicate again the page and you can, you can check other color too. It's up to you, but I already checked which one would uh, suit, suit better, but uh, I cannot do this way. So if uh, we scroll up, it's very dark, I think, is my point of view. This is my opinion. Uh, it can work nice or it can work good as well. So we will see. What do you think which one is better? So this one actually I don't like it, so I will delete this one. Uh, I am not not uh, entirely sure which one would be better for here. Actually, uh, I like I like this one quite. Or. Uh, Yes, I go with the second one. So I go with the second one. So I will leave that one. I will delete this one. Okay. So it looks like this. So now before you do anything, I forgot to tell you related to the spine, you want to go to the position and you want to click on the center. I already centered. But uh, if you didn't, then put on, uh, click on center, and if center, then it's right. You want to make sure it's in the right position. So now your next step, you want to do, you know, on the cover, uh, when you see a composition notebook, is usually like a composition notebook writing with a, a little uh, frame on it. So you want to go to the elements again, and you want to look for this type of uh, shape. So you click on that. And you want to make sure it's not as big and not as small either, so it looks uh, nice on the cover. And you want to make sure it's actually is, uh, on the center as well. So I think it's good. So now you want to make sure the color is uh, sweet to the cover color. So I'm going with the outer uh, color like this, like uh, with the brown as the spine, and uh, which is orange now, I will gonna go with this white one. So now we want to do the, the three lines. So our next step, the three lines. So you go to elements again, you choosing the lines, and we put over here. But might what I gonna do before I just go with the lines, might I take this a little bit like longer, like this, and I put in the position. So uh, might it will work better. So we go with the line again. And just make a little bit smaller. Just make sure it's straight. Put like this, you want to duplicate, you just put in the position. Okay, good. Might I just take this one, the first one? I think I will put a little bit up, just a little bit. We'll see how this is work. Not that much. Put there, so okay. Let's see. So we're gonna du duplicate the second one as well. So we will just put down, not that much. Actually, before I do that, I think I can just put a little bit this wider, like bigger, I mean. And we're gonna put this one down so it looks like this and we have one more thing to do and I will show you now so your next step you want to add the text uh, composition notebook here 
So we go to the text, click on there, you go to add subheading, and I just write down the composition notebook. It's like that, and I will take care about the size and the, the font later. So I just put on here, and the font, I like to use the Hammersmith one. Which one is yours? Let me know in the comment below. I would like to know which one you like to choose, use, actually. And uh, we just click on here. Put like that. And let's see how does it look like. Okay, so I just make it bigger, so I want to have a look how does it look like. Okay, I think mine is too big, so you want to make sure it looks nice. And I just check the line. So let's see now again. How does it look like? Yeah, I think it looks good. Okay. So you just want to make sure everything is lined. So what I do here is a little bit like yeah, you can play around with that, actually. Oh, I I didn't do the right thing. Oh, look, what I've done. No, in the middle. I didn't mean the middle. It's fine. You know, when we do this, then we can make, uh, it happens, we make, make mistakes, or, you know, just playing around, so it can take time. So I just leave like that for now, but once uh, you do your yours, then just make sure, you know, before you, download this everything on the right position okay so uh, but i think it looks good anyway all right then and uh, now it's coming the uploading but before that i just show you quickly now just make sure you don't forget this one so what you want to do because remember we used this uh, uh, cover template don't we so look it's still here so what you want to do you just want to uh, go uh, make it smaller a little bit, one of the uh, side, one side of the cover, and you click on this one, and you just want to delete that, like that, and now you want to go back. Actually, I'm thinking. Okay, I don't know why it happened. So I just double check the other side as well. You want to make sure you don't have like a duplicated uh, cover. So just I just double check. Yeah, it's nothing here. Few, so it's good. Okay. Now everything looks good. Just double check the spine. So it looks good as well. Down to good. So once you are make sure everything on the line, then you can you can download as a PDF. So this is what I will show you now. So now you have just one thing left to do. You want to download to uh, this uh, cover what you just done. So you give a name, as I did already, Composition Notebook Reindeer, for example. Then you want to click on the Share button, and uh, if you scroll down, you just click on Download. And you want to make sure, very important, is not PNG, not PDF standard, you want to go as PDF Print. And uh, once it's done, you click on that, you click on Flatten PDF, and also, when you choose this color profile you want to make sure it's a cmyk because that one is best for professional printing 
so you click on that one and you just click on download and actually uh, you done so uh, you are now ready to upload uh, this uh, cover to Amazon KDP so now you know how you can create a composition notebook cover yourself. If you like this video, then feel free to give me a thumbs up. It helps me out with the algorithm. And if you would like to see similar videos like this, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. It would be really appreciated. And also, if you would like to know how to pick a pen name for your Amazon KDP business, then tap on the screen and check out my video where I talk about that. See you. Bye.